That Kurawong's giving the kookaburra a hard time now. Keeps flying by and snapping at him. Daddy, the signs even say that don't use wood that that gets no, don't use wood that gets red and that poison that pests animals and plants. Are you sure that's a girl? Look at the way it's dressed. If that chocolate doesn't come off, I'm going to have to scrape it off. Can you shave? <laughs> Sai's so is heading off to go find her friends. <laughs> She kind of looks like, she kind of looks like Yoda. <laughs> Gandalf mix with Yoda. <laughs> Dwarf Gandalf. You shall not pass. Well, the morning cleaning crew is here. Taking care of any remnants of uh, food left behind on any utensils. three strings and find some rocks and see how she goes. I've got smoke blowing my eyes at the moment. Not Rob's, my fault. Rob's making a cup of tea. I'll switch you around. Noodles. Noodle, cup of tea noodles. Someone's put this near the fire. Bloody so so. Rob's burning his spoon. I think you've been sticking that in the actual fire last night trying to get the logs around. That's right, yeah. So Rob's making a cup of noodles. Need and mushrooms. That's from our noodles and sausage. The fire's you dying down and smoking. Hungry. We've got new neighbours over there. My daughter's running around somewhere in the far paddock. So yeah, stay tuned in. My little bolo will be made by this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Mr. Bushcraft out there is teaching his son how to use the axe. He's gonna lose a toe. Who here has chopped their toe off with an axe? Yay! Technically in half. Uh, I got it through there. Yep, there. But it wasn't me, it was actually my friend who did it. Tomahawk through here. And somewhere I'm back here I hit myself with the axe again. Yeah, I was at a friend's place out on the farm when I was a kid and uh, we were playing with tools as you do when you're out on the farm. There. Oh yeah, I see it. That's a tomahawk. And uh, my mate was going to put um, got this brand new bucket put upside down. He's going to put the axe through it. And I thought, no, that's a stupid thing to do. Just as he swung, I thought I'd be smart and kick it out of the way. Which I did. I succeeded in kicking the bucket out of the way. Yep. And the axe went straight into my foot. And you squealed. 
<laughs> like a stuck pig. You posted you cut my foot off. Uh, I don't remember what I said, but it sure as hell wasn't that. to where you're cutting. Feet apart. So you don't chop your toes off. There you go. Yeah. Just take just just takes practice. So the more often you do it, the better you get at it. I'm not cutting in half, but I'm still cutting it. Well I can't even cut some wood in half with first strike. Some wood is very hard and dense. You're on target, that's for sure. Go back just a fraction. See how you're hitting right here? You want to hit right here. So you're like a centimeter just out. Oh, handle and axe. Your hands up here. That's bay. That's it. Okay, there. And you're going to come straight out. And you want it. There. Yeah, that other line. It's like swinging a katana. Look at the katana. The samurai sword. That's perfect. See that? That's right in the middle. Do that again. That hands. Your hands should be in place before you lift it. Is, how did you hit it like that when you cut in that way? It's like you've gone 45 degrees. So hands up, Wait, down, I haven't marked it. and you're not square. See, see how you had to lift the side, so shuffle a little bit to your right. Yep, and go. Axe down. Axe down. Ah. Feet. There you go. Teeth, you're not going to do it right. See? Perfect then. Now give it a break. This is your bit of wood for practicing. Yay. 